Prime Minister Andrew Holness has declared that Jamaica will be moving on as it embarks on the process of becoming a republic, which will mean removing the Queen, Elizabeth II, as head of state. Holness made the discourse during a courtesy call from Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton, on Wednesday at Jamaica House. Prior to his frank and open address to the couple, the Prime Minister said, we're very, very happy to have you, and we hope you've received the warm welcome of the people. He then directly addressed the island's intention to sever ties with the British monarchy by indirectly referencing the protests held by the Advocates Network near the British High Commission in St. Andrew ahead of the couple's arrival in the country on Tuesday. Jamaica is a very free and liberal country and the people are very expressive and I am certain that you have seen the spectrum of expressions yesterday, Holness said, alluding to the protests by the network, which was in sharp contrast with the warm reception that was accorded the royal family members in Trenchtown. Continuing, Holness said, there are issues here which are, as you would know, unresolved. But your presence here give us an opportunity for those issues to be placed in context, put front and center, and be addressed in as best as we can. But Jamaica is, as you would see, a country that is very proud of her history and very proud of what we have achieved, and we are moving on. And we intend to attain, in short order, our development goals, fulfill our true ambitions, and destiny as an independent, developed, prosperous country, indicated the Prime Minister. So, we're going to discuss what I just read from the news report here. Um, courtesy of The Loop, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Olness, has, of course, told William and Kate the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, that Jamaica will be moving on. We are going to become a republic. So let me see how it sounds. The Republic of Jamaica. Sounds great, right? Sounds good. So we are, as you may, as the Prime Minister mentioned, we are very proud. We, are, we have a lot of history and we've achieved a lot. And we intend to attain in short order our development goals and fulfill our true ambitions and destiny as an independent developed prosperous country and i think we can do it yes we can we don't need the queen to be head of state right since we're independent why is the queen head of state please let me know what you think in the comment section so this is great news this is good so, of course, um, with Kate and William, it's not a personal issue. It's not about them. It never was, and it never will be. It's not anything like that. We welcome them in the country, of course. We're always um, courteous to our visitors, right? So, of course, we have to show um, courtesy, but we have to also look out for ourselves. And I totally support the reparation because right now, all the high schools right across Jamaica needs upgrading. They need to be brought into 2022. And you can see when you enter a high school, a lot of the high schools, they don't have proper facilities. They don't have proper science lab. They don't even have um, a proper driveway. A lot of the driveways are dirt driveways. So we need state-of-the-art facilities as well. And we should have um, a lot of training facilities in Jamaica, all across the island. So we need um, more universities, more schools. We need to upgrade our high schools. And we need thousands of more low-income homes. It's time for our people to be in good homes now. And you know the story. I don't have to repeat it. We did not get any compensation, right? So... The reparation, I am very interested in the talks about reparation. Um, they've come up with a figure of 10 billion pounds. I think it should be more, but let's go with the 10 billion. Uh, we should be able to build some 
um, schools and training centers and, you know, upgrade the hospitals, maybe. We, if we can get one or two more ho hospitals out of it, that would be great as well for parents. Um, they work for that, right? It's not like the British government giving any handouts or anything like that. So we support the reparation. And of course, we support Jamaica moving on to be a republic. Yes, I think it's time because it's 60 years, right, since we've been independent. And we were not totally independent. The queen was the head of state, right? So she still had some influence, right? Um, so we're moving on just like Barbados, right? And this is great news. Let me know what you think in the comment section. There are people still suffering right now as a result of um, being enslaved, right? And didn't get any compensation for being enslaved for 300 years. They were basically turned out with nothing. The people who were enslaving or for parents, they were compensated. And guess what? The people who went to England, the Caribbean people, their tax money was used to pay off that debt. So in the end, it's the same people who paid off the debt that the British government took in 1838. That debt was not paid off until 2015. And every taxpayer, the taxpayers in England, they're the ones who foot the bill. And that includes the people who migrated to England, right? That includes me as well because I lived here for two years and I paid tax. So I, uh, my money was in there as well. So this is great news, of course. And we wish William and Kate all the best. I think their next stop is the Bahamas. So they'll be leaving Jamaica tomorrow. And I'm sure it was great having them in the country. But we have to look out for our citizens and the country as a whole and how we're going to progress in the future. So we're on our way to be a republic. So I don't know what you say. Do you say like Dominica Republic? Would we say Jamaica Republic or Republic of Jamaica? I guess anyone will do, right? So let's look at um, what it means to be a republic, right? Because now it's just a matter of time. So a republic is a form of government in which supreme power is held by the people and their elected representatives. In republics, the country is considered a public matter, not the private concern or the property of rulers. So you can always refer to that if you need clarification, right? So what does it mean if you are a republic? So republic form of government in which a state is ruled by representatives of the citizen body. Modern republics are founded on the idea that sovereignty rests with the people. Though who is included and excluded from the category of people as varied across history. What is the difference between a republic and a democracy? In a pure democracy, laws are made directly by the voting majority, leaving the rights of the minority largely unprotected. In a republic, laws are made by representatives chosen by the people and must comply with a constitution that specifically protects the right of the minority from the will of the majority. Okay, and the attributes of a Republican government is the power and authority in the government comes from the people. Rights of the citizens are protected through a constitution and voting. Power is distributed to representatives based on majority rule. So I just wanted to um, give some clarification on that. So remember to like and share and subscribe. Thanks for joining me on this video and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now. Remember to take care of yourself and others. Thanks for watching Jamaica Roots TV, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. 
Our channel is new on YouTube and we need your support. See you on our next video.